Hello, I'm Olivia aka Biblio Ghoul and I am super excited for this month because it is Women in Translation Month and I actually have like a bunch of printouts of maps because one of my goals is to read literature from all over the world. <laughs> you might hear my puppy in the background. So yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the books that I will be reading this month. I know that there is a specific challenge and it lasts for a week. So I will link all the information about that uh, below. But I wanted to expand this to my whole month of reading. So yeah, let me get started with the books that I already own. So the first one is The Blind Earthworm and the Labyrinth. It is Thai and it is by Virapurn Nidaprapha and translated by Kong Rithi. Um, so here's a look at that and one of the reasons I wanted to read this was because of the beautiful cover. It is described as being about two sisters growing up in a lush riverside town, um, captivated by trashy romance novels, and it's supposed to have a soap opera vibe to it. I love uh, reality TV, so I'm excited for that. But also it says that it has the consuming intensity of a fever dream. If you watch this channel, you know that's my vibe as well. So I'm interested to see how these two things combine. And apparently it is a bestseller in Thailand. So that is the first one. So the next book I want to read is a Booker winner. And it is pretty well known. That's The Vegetarian by Hong Kong. And it doesn't say who it's translated by on the cover. So let me see if I can find that info. Oh, and this is a Korean novel, and it's translated um, by Deborah Smith. This is supposed to be a weird book, um, so I'm interested to see how I like it. But it is about a woman who decides to stop eating meat, and this has like a profound effect on her family life and other people's um, control of her life. And it says it is about a woman's struggle to break free from the violence both outside and within her. I'm interested if there's going to be like any body horror. And it mentions that this, um, you know, affects her mind and her body. So yeah, this is one that's um, been on my radar for a while and I'm excited to finally read. So I also have Celestial Bodies, um, which is another Booker winner. But this, I believe this was the first Arabic book to win the Booker Prize. And also the first book by an Omani woman translated into English, I believe. So those are both cool things. And this seems to be a family saga. It follows three women. And it says it's about how Oman evolves from a traditional slave-owning society, slowly redefining itself after the colonial era to the crossroads of its complex present. So um, those are always aspects that I enjoy reading about. So I'm really excited to read this one. The next book is Amora Stories by Natalie Borge Paleso. And this is uh, a Br Brazilian novel that's translated from Portuguese by Julia Sanchez. It says, 33 intimate moments of women in love. Um, so, you know, since it's short stories, it's hard to know what they'll all be about, but I am totally down for it. I love this beautiful lime green color. Actually, like all of the books that I've held up so far are really lovely and vibrant. So those are the ones I have on my shelf that I'm excited to read. I'm also gonna be doing two buddy reads this month. So with L from L Reads, I will be reading Mars, which is a Bosnian novel uh, written by Ozja Bakic and translated by Jennifer Zobel. It seems like it's a combination of a bunch of genres that I enjoy. It's described as magical realism, surrealism, dark, dystopian, speculative, feminist, sci-fi. Um, and this is also short stories. Two of the short stories it mentions uh, say, one woman will be freed from purgatory when she writes the perfect book, and another abides in a world devoid of physical contact. So I'm very excited to dig into that with Elle. And the next buddy read I will be doing will be with Anna Marie from Actual Spinster. We will be reading The Adventures of 
China Iron. This is an Argentinian novel by Gabriela Cabazon Camara and translated by Fiona McIntosh. It's about a woman who is married to a man and then meets this other uh, Scottish woman and I guess they it's described as kind of like an adventure novel. It's queer and it's about her um, and this woman, you know, adventuring through the countryside and then also like meeting and becoming a part of this indigenous community. And I guess this is based on a famous Argentine novel, but it's kind of the feminist queer twist on this novel. So I'm interested to see how all of that is remixed. And then there are just the other uh, novels that I'm interested in reading. I should say that all of these are pretty short, uh, so it seems like a lot, but they're all like 200 or less pages for the most part, so it's gonna go quickly. And uh, actually one of the ones I'm the most excited for is called When I Sing Mountains Dance, and this is translated from Catalan by Mara Faye Lethem, and it's originally by Irene Sola. It's a, a Spanish novel. It's described as lyrical, which is my favorite kind of writing, elemental and mythic. And it says, it is a giddy paean to the land in all of its interconnectedness. And in it, Irene Sola finds a distinct voice for each extraordinary consciousness. So I am really excited for the consciousness of animals and the lands and this kind of elemental vibes. The next one is La Bastarda, and this is actually the first novel by an equatorial Ghanaian woman translated into English. It's by Trifonia Melibia Obono and translated from Spanish by Lawrence Schimmel. It's about a Como who is an orphan teen who's looking to find information about her father and through this search she connects with her gay uncle and it's described as indecent girls uh, to help her find her father and ends up rebelling against uh, her traditional culture through some of her choices. So I'm interested in these like found family tropes and excited for that one. And the last two are Booker nominations this year that I've been wanting to read and I've mentioned a few times in the past but I just haven't gotten to them yet. So the first one is Elena Knows from Argentina by Claudio Pinheiro and translated by Francis Riddle. So this is about a girl who is murdered and her mother's like tenacious quest to get to the bottom of everything. And the next one is actually also about a mother and it is called The Book of Mother. It is a French novel written by Violaine Husson and translated by Leslie Camille. On the other hand, this one is about a mother who kind of has some dark things going on in her life and, you know, I guess the daughter and her are very close until the mother starts descending into all of these bad paths and it's about the ability to connect through that, I guess. So I'm interested to see what that is all about. But yeah, I'm always looking for new recommendations for translated fiction. So let me know what some of your favorites were in the comments below or what you're hoping to read this month. I am almost to 100 subscribers, so if you enjoyed this video and wanted to like it or subscribe, that would really help me out. But yeah, thanks for watching. And if you are reading for the Women in Translation Challenge, I hope that you enjoy. So, bye!